Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here back in the Outer World. Last time we talked to Grim here, and we landed on good old Monarch. Now we have some vendor machines to our left. Uh, do I have anything that I could get rid of? I have some weapons, ooh, hibernation helmet that I used to have, that I used to care about, or sleep in. Uh, we might as well sell them. We would like to make a few more, I was, going to, I was about to say caps. I want to make a few more caps back. Oh, very nice. But, um... They're not caps. They're bits. They're bits. They're not caps. God, I need a new a great follow-up game as well. Oh, we might never get another one. But anyways. Uh, yeah, go ahead and sell that. Cool. Also, we did pick up the shrink ray last time. Look, I don't... Sorry. For a second, I thought you were grim. Oh. Oh, can we... No, we can't go in there. Um, the guard. If you just leave stuff around, is it really stealing? We don't get many outsiders. Sentinel. All right then. Doesn't seem like there's a lot we can really do here. Of all the times and places you could have been born. Nothing yeah. over there. We're a little laggy. Hmm. From Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns. McGuire. Nioka. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Look at that mustache. Holy cow. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few in telling them myself. Now what can I do for you? Can you tell me how you grew that mustache? How well do you know Nioka? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? I don't know. It's just like the, his persona seems kind of very fitting. I love that mustache so much. You, know, you used to seeing new faces around here, huh? Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. Uh, what happened at Amber Heights? A bunch of marauders broke into the executive compound, slaughtered everyone. Corporations pulled out of Monarch not long after. Ooh. I thought everyone knew. But then that was ten years ago. Still feels fresh to us every time we look at our walls, though. So why is this place called the Yacht Club? Thought it had a fancy ring to it. <coughs> Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Alright, are there any yachts? Nope. But a man can dream. All right. Uh, we already traded stuff, but let's leave the conversation. And talk to Nioka. And the little bastard slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away, getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. It's rude. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd shit. I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Um, Mr. Milk Lover. Sure. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? <laughs> um, sure. Why not? Outstanding. It's only two bits. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well. Well, well, let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass, rats, let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys, I'm sneezing a little bit. Um, sure, what do you need? Outstanding. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or 
Caffeine something? Pills. They're very good. Drugs? I'm cut off for the month on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Um, you mean caffeinoid? That's just stuff... That's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Alright. I'm not your mama or your daddy. Hello, resident. So, if you want drugs and you help me out, I guess I gotta get you drugs. Resident. Stealing, stealing, stealing. It's not... Oh, crap. It's stealing if they still see me, though. Caleb? Who's Caleb? New face, huh? You from Offworld? No, I'm from the Outer Worlds. Oh, uh, yeah. Captain Hawthorne. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Uh, what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered to free responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. Yep. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Um, what could be so bad it made you walk off the job? Uh, what, won't you get in trouble? Hmm. It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch. We're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Alright, that'd be pretty good at negotiations. I wouldn't doubt it. You look like the type who tends to come out on top. Not like us cogs, trying to be the squeaky wheel but just getting deadlocked. It's been days, but Velma won't even hear us out. Maybe you could just make her listen to our demands. Alright, he's got really interesting glasses, very rectangly. You would do that? We sure are lucky you decided to come up to the patio today. I knew drinking up here would be good for more than the view. All right, we need to talk about Velma, though. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh, Sandra's going to fire Velma if you don't return to work. How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. All right, any suggestions to put pressure? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. All right, blackmail, huh? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know. But well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know. But if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Interesting. Let's leave. Oh, auto load operator, auto load operator. Mag pick. It's not stealing. If I close the door, no one come in, including my Vicar. Please. Just gotta double check. It's not stealing, it's just permanently borrowing and never giving back. Alright. Thank you, Vicar, for that, I guess. Cool. So we gotta help out Nioka. We gotta help out against Velma. The game's Feeling a bit laggy. I got nothing running around in the background except maybe for one, yeah, maybe one Google Chrome page just to see the comments for Hoi 4. But, uh, I think around here. Very interesting. Very interesting. I don't need a lot of these consumables, though. What is this? Recruit. Technician. Could I get another advance? Celia Mr. Robbins. Yeah, we need to talk to her. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Sanjar. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? I think Edgewater would like to have a discussion with you. The best? I don't know. Maybe they just make the rest. Hmm. What was that exchange about? 
Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse? And then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience. Whoa, Parvati, whoa. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on erupted on acid. Well, do you normally do that? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from him? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. Hmm. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Hmm, maybe I can talk to him for you. Just ask him on a date. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Uh, what do you see in Sebastian? Did we do that one? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Hey, hey, is that attack on me? Hey, hey, what, what's going on? I, my, I might skip leg day every day. All right. Uh, all right. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Does she want a promotion? All right, that's all I need to know then. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. All right, see you later. And Mr. Sanjar. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Uh. I often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I'm looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out of Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Ooh. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging around and scraping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal. But a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future. But the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Uh, you make a good point. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? 
That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. She knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. How do you do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. That could be pretty good. What is it? The Bolt 52. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Ordinance or ordinance? An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here. Not like Grand's iconoclasts. Of course he wants to fight bureaucracy with paperwork. I should have known. Darn, I wanted to see if uh, a Bolt 52 was actually like a nuke. Can it be really that important? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you just crawled out from under a rock. Forms and procedures are everything in Halcyon. And this one is located in the old arms building southwest of town. Which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Sounds like fun. Why are you saying it that way, though? Saying what? Which way? Arms instead of arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Uh-oh. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Maybe I have the wrong hands. Ask him about something. What can I do for you? Questions about MSI in the good old days. Met Grim. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang of a world class moron. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Um, that's pretty much it. Pretty much. It's not illegal for me to go in here, so let's see what's on here. View data. Summary condition on conditions within Stellar Bay. Working slogans. Our profit margins are stellar. Root. All right. I don't want to steal stuff. Oh. oh, the executive. You look very golden. I hope your being here means the board is loosening their restrictions. It looks very golden. Auto. Checking your hours well past due for some time off. Take a few days off. Uh, he's actually. Oh, hello. Another executive. I hope your being here means the board is loosening their restrictions. Okay, they say the same things. Report looks excellent. All right. Well, oops, that's the wall. What? What's this way? Oh, ooh, looks a little dismal. Um, we came from here, which still looks kind of dismal. Resident. Is this is a hotel. You're probably looking for Velma. Watch out. Hmm. I need to go to the arm storage, but uh, is Velma in here? Looks like a worker's place. Worker, 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 worker. Don't want to steal stuff in front of them. Uh, this looks like a ugh, disgusting bathroom. Pretty normal. Uh, let's keep going back. What's in the back here? Oh. Worker. Looks pretty dreary out here, I'd have to say. Velma. Oh, there's Velma. There's a workbench, too. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. I'll take it easy. Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. Um, do I want to piss her off? Let's piss her off. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. 
first, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Oh, your chief? Let's talk about Caleb. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Alright, he'll come back eventually. Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Just a little bit. About Caleb, Braxton had been stealing drugs? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's ships. Awfully nice of you not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the spacer's choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. <laughs> mostly tumor free. What's Catherine? Who's Sub Catherine? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Alright, let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Pay increase, they need a raise to keep up with prices. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook. Not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. Can't give him pay increase? Well, I, I, I don't know. I kind of agree with Velma here. If the contractors are demanding more, everyone is suffering. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Alright, pers oh, Persuasion 100. If I know you're taking a percentage off the top, what would Sanjar say if I told him? If you hire sublight, you'll just give him more control over your business. You know, I hadn't thought of it that there way. There we go. Last thing I need is Catherine mailing even farther up my ass than she already is. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you very much, Velmo. Someone's going to be pleased. Maybe not you, maybe not me, but... Well, maybe I'll be pleased in the end because I get XP. And that's what I really care about. Arm storage. Or actually, go to our journal... And faction, oh, faction quest. Yeah, we'll do that. Retrieve the missing passcode. Um, deliver it to Catherine. Where is it? Oh, it's up. Oh, it's on my right. It's always cranky. No. Uh, can I go this way, constable? Well, maybe I'll explore the constable soon enough. Um, oh, no one saw that. Is that back in Velma? Yeah, it must be back in Velma stuff. Why am I going up here then? Because I can. Oh. We. Oh crap! Crap! Oh. Oh, is there really any point to come up here? Doesn't seem like it. Was there? Okay, there's a plasma carbine and adreno. Was that really worth it though? Eh, not really. Seems kind of like a waste to come all around here just for a stupid plasma carbine. Oh well, whatever. You know, it's better to know than to not know, I suppose. Whee! And break my legs. Oh, no, no, no leg breakage right now? Alright. So be it. We'll break him again some other time. Alright. Uh, yeah, it must have been down here. I saw the shrink ray that I, we do want to try out our science weapon that we got last time. I'll be honest, I tried it out a little bit off screen. Kind of interesting, kind of cool. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. Ah, don't, there's people around. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. The contractor's dead. 
We got the passcode. Meet with Catherine. Oh, what is up here? Go ahead. It's down. Yay. Music box. All right, then. We could meet with Catherine, but that means we'd probably go off the world or something. Um, Celia. Check with Celia. Uh, I thought we already did that. Velma will negotiate. Let's do uh, this one. Braxton's apartment. That should be... Okay, maybe not super close. Close enough, though. Oh, this is, oh, this is the other way we came in. Cool. Very cool, very cool. And actually, Monarch, we had to talk to Celia, but she didn't tell us anything about anybody else. Did you talk to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Grim asked me to check, check with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Oh, good. Oh, good. So I'm just going to go right back and talk to Velma again. Cool. Very cool. Not really that cool, but whatever. Mm, Velma, I know you're pissed off. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry ma'am, I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just, your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh, I see what you're saying. Huh, I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? Talk about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer too. So it's about money. Damn right it is. You stole the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. You're just giving it away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. Hmm. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Maybe we can work something out? Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Intimidate? You won't do much business if your neighbors hate you. Consider this an investment? Bribe? Work with me, I'll help you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Alright. Fine by me. Well, seems like we gotta do a job for her, and so be it. She seems kind of stressed out, and that's uh, affecting her overall life and behavior, we'll say. Cool. Looks like this might be the right place. An apartment. Tell him I'd... Help! Someone's been killed! Okay, and? I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, pull yourself together. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes. But this, if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Well, all right then. Lower right one, now I'm interested. Ooh. Hello, body? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. You're not, you didn't even what see the thing. Some way to die. He still got his limbs. I mean, maybe he was punched in the head. I'm assuming no one's in here, so it's okay for me to take everything he had. 
I don't think anyone's really going to question this. Examine. Betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers, mostly colonists. Uh, this might have resulted from a gambling problem. Oh no. Oh no. Never bet more than you can afford to lose. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, stuffed into the suitcase. Seems like he was trying to leave, but, uh... Huh. Oh, the bedding stuff, whatever. What's in this room? Oh, there's a person in here. A resident. What happens? Well, let's use the terminal first. But what happens if I steal while they're sleeping, but I'm crouched? Rose, keep your window shut. Hatch. Huh. Oh. Alright. Oh, crap. He just... Oh, the person just woke up. God dang it. Eh. Nothing really interesting in there anyways. Alright, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Laura. Anything in the bathroom? No? No dead bodies? Startle me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Hmm, per se. No one's in trouble. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat. You've been taking drugs. No! Okay, maybe. Just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? So you know Braxton. Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So, maybe look for him there? All right, that's all I needed. We're in agreement that this Braxton is probably dead, right? Uh, some residents. Not a really big apartment. There is a... No one saw that. Ooh. Or this. Oh, very nice. I love the music boxes. No one's in here. It's totally free and okay to do that. Yeah, this is a really small apartment. Wow. Well, it looks like we're going to the house. Not Mr. House. No, this is not New Vegas. But it might be. It's spiritual successor. Wrapped mask and painted eyes right here. Agnes? Wait. Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Uh, what'd you do? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Um, when'd you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodon, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Was there a reward? Why do? Why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on it, his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Um, alright. Is there a reward? What happened to his papa? Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is deathly dangerous out there. I got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. All right, so be it. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you oh, hear? Oh, boy. It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. 
And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. <laughs> Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. All right then. Uh, we saw Sebastian. Is this a church? Uh, Sebastian, Sentinel, Resident, Resident, Guard. Oh, oh no, that was not a church. It's the same place earlier. Uh, where is Le Sebastian? Oh, there he is. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue, or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Uh, let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. He smited her. Smited? So? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Um, she doesn't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise you won't ask for a discount. Uh, I can't promise that. How about a bit advance against lost business? She might want a discount. I'm not saying she doesn't. I, I'll do this. I got enough I bits. I guess I could afford to take a risk. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Well, all right then. Seems like we gotta go find a little missing boy. I, I don't know if it's actually a small boy. It sounds like it could be a small boy, or it could be a giant individual. But you know how these video games are with... Trying to tell you a story, or making you imply a story, but then the story isn't actually true. So, let's see how this shrink rate works, since we're going... Ooh. Here. It smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload saltina shipments at the cannon. The trick is not to breathe through your nose. Oh god, there's so many of these guys. I don't think a shrink ray is really gonna help, but let's try it anyway. I have your back, Captain. Does some damage. Oh. Doesn't do a lot of damage. It does make him smaller though. Victor Max, uh, I might need to switch to another weapon. He's not dead, he's just a little incapacitated, that's all. Alright, I think I like this weapon a little bit more than the Shrink Ray. I love your meat. Ah, welcome back, Captain. Or Vicar. You're not a captain, I'm the captain here. Look at me, I'm the captain now. Uh, anything around here? Explosives. Buildings. Monarch. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, Stellar Bay. Well, there's a house over there that we need to go to, but there's an open door here. Hello? Oh. Well, it looks like you died a while ago. I'll take that. I'll take all of the good stuff. Ah, I love bypass shunts. Ooh, heavy ammo. A safe that doesn't require too much. A plasma cutter. The vermin, of course, is a great pistol. Revolver. Looks like a cap, but I want to take it, but I cannot, because this is not Fallout. Alright. Oh, don't want to miss that. This looks like a church. Oh. This little pistol is not bad whatsoever. Over to damage. Can't go in there, so let's go into the church. Hello. 
Vicar, have you been here? Or probably not. What is this? Oh, it's a thug that's been in here. Oh, pick up a book. It's a bin. Nothing like looting a church to make you feel better, right? Energy cell, stuff like that, light ammo. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, I got a hat. Oh! Lockpick used. Um, well, that, I think that's pretty much all the time that we have for today, my guys, my friends. Um, there's really not much in there here, but we've made it to Monarch in the last episode, but now we've definitely explored the situation that is here on Monarch. Um... We've got a lot of things to do, a lot of things and people to see. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to explore Monarch and potentially find some lost kid and potentially return her him to his mother. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great, great day.